Hi everybody, welcome to Healing with Carnivore. That's my YouTube channel and my name is Dr. Lanny and let me introduce myself. I'm a chiropractor, life coach, teacher, and I've been dieting for 40 years. I'm 67 year old now. Prior to dieting, I did the SAD, the standard American diet, and was bloated and blah, blah, blah my whole life. Then I started doing vegetarian in my 20s. I went from vegetarian in my 20s to the Atkins diet and loved the Atkins diet. Oh, my God. But then I did keto, and that was all downhill because as soon as I started eating uh, carbos again, I was carb addicted, and there I was gaining weight and getting bloated again. Then I went back to being a vegetarian, but mostly with protein powders like spirulina, maca root, pea protein, stuff like that. And then when I wanted to lose weight, I just did the master cleanse every month, like four or five days every month. And that would keep my weight down and the protein powders would get keeping me in protein. And then I was vegetarian, but I did that for a lot of years. Not healthy, folks. So do me a favor and please like, subscribe, and make a comment. It doesn't even have to be a very big comment, but I want you to please help my channel and then share, of course, with your friends and family. So today I'm going to show you how to dehydrate hamburger into meat chips for traveling on the carnivore diet or really just eating meat chips around town if you want to. You could do it that way. So here's a picture of me about a month ago. I started the carnivore diet March 16th, 2022. This is eight months into it. And then these are the chips that I just made a couple days ago. They're, and they taste amazing. They're really great. I just put salt on them. Other people put hot sauce or barbecue sauce or whatever. But I just like salt on them. And you could eat these at the airport or in the hotel or, like I said, just around town, whatever. Okay, so let's go on and show you this video here. Okay. Hi, everybody. So this is Dr. Lay, and I'm going to show you how I make my... Um, here's one, my little chips, my beef chips out of hamburger on my Ninja Grill. And I use the, can you see it, the, the dehydrate function. And I have a little dehydrate trays that go right in there. Here, let me walk you over. So I'm going to show you this chip, right? And these chips, I roll them out. I'll show you how I roll them out. I roll them out and put them on these trays. And then they stick these trays in the Ninja. Put it on dehydrate for three hours and you end up with these wonderful beef chips. I put a little salt on them. That's it. I didn't put anything else on it. I'm using this roller. And this roller is great. I got it at Ross for like nine bucks. And it's got, see, it's got this little lip on it, how it raises the roller. Other people I've seen, they put like um, um, uh, rulers laid down. And I cut this bag. See how I cut the bag? You can see cut the bag open and then I cut the bag and put my little ball of hamburger in there. Let me see, where's my hamburger? Um, there's my hamburger. I'm going to just take and, you know, create a little bit of, um, I'm going to have to fix this roller. So I take that, make a little, maybe a little um, size, golf ball size and cover it with the thing and then roll it out. I'll show you how I roll it out. I gotta change hands, I don't have it set up yet. Hold on. Okay, so let me show you how I roll it out. Take, and take this roller and kind of roll it out gently. I'm gonna make it a little bit. Just roll it out. I'm always going towards the edge because I'll show you why in a second. Roll it out. Make sure it's all flat, nice, the same, even level. Pretty good rolled out. This is a pretty big piece, but that's okay. And now I just op open this up. Let's put it over there. Open this up and take it apart. Now I got my little chip. This is a big chip, but that's okay. And I put it on the, can you see this? And I put it on my tray. I'll put one, two, three, four on the tray. And then I'll stack the next and stack the next and put it in a ninja. And we got chips. I'll put a little salt on this when I'm done with this tray. And that's it. Okay, I wanted to show you. So this is a Ziploc bag that I cut down to a nice size so that I could stick my uh, golf ball size of meat in there. And then people were taking these wood paint can mixer things and using that as because they couldn't find a... A roller that had the edge on it like I had and they and or a ruler on it as well so you get a little bit of lift so you could roll it out so you're not rolling flat on the ground 
That's what some people I saw they were doing. That looked pretty good. And that's what it kind of looks like when you roll it out. Now, again, I have the lift on my roller, so I don't need to do that. But that's kind of cool. I think that would work pretty well, actually. Okay, so this is what the patties look like um, lined up uh, bef you know, on the trays. There's three trays. There's the three trays that you can see. Uh, it's about a little under a pound of hamburger, so not bad. And that's what it looks like in the Ninja Grill. And that's what it looks like when they're done. And that's ready to eat. And like I said earlier, I just put salt on them, but some people put barbecue sauce and all kinds of flavors. But I just like my meat and salt. So please like, subscribe, and comment, and share with your friends and family. I really appreciate it. And remember, you can do this. You can First of all, you can do the carnivore diet. And secondly, you can travel on carnivore. And thirdly, you can make these hamburger chips. They're really, really, really easy. If you want coaching, please email me and I'll give you a free consultation to see if we're a match. If we're a match, we'll do some coaching. There's my email, OscarNancySam, O-N-S, at ProtonMail.com. Thank you very much. And like always, allow your inner light to shine and let it shine bright so it guides you home. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you all later. Bye-bye now.